All right, so I actually lied. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create an API using Express because we actually need a way to get the data from our MySQL database. So that's what we're gonna start with next. So first thing that you need to do is you need to do npm install express. And exactly what we're gonna be using is this right here. You can look at the express uh, expressjs.com and you can just check here and it says right here, making an API is quick and easy. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's minimize this. We'll do code dot. Open up Visual Studio Code. We check our package.json. Express is right here, perfect, just what we needed. So let's create a new file, and this is gonna be called api.js. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to require express. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to require MySQL because we're actually gonna to need to be able to write some queries to tell um, the MySQL database what we wanna pull out, what information and data we want. So let's do, uh, let's establish the app. Let's establish uh, Express, start using that. And then we're gonna establish the port. You can make the port whatever you want. 4,000 is pretty standard, so I'm just gonna do that. And then we're gonna create a connection to the database, just like we did with our MySQL file in the last step. So we're gonna do create connection, establish some um, parameters for the create connection object. So same thing as last time, local host, port 3306 user is going to be root and the database is going to be tutorial all right perfect so now we're all set up to go the next thing we need to do is we need to establish an api route for getting all of that anime data information so um the get function in express takes in um one param or two parameters one is going to be the actual URL that we tell the front end, that we tell our React app to request. So we're gonna write that right here. It's gonna be called get all anime. And then the second is a uh, callback function that takes in two different parameters, the request and the response. So let's establish a variable right here. And the SQL that we do, or the query, is going to be select star from anime because we just want to get everything out of that anime database and select star is an easy way to do that. And then after that, we're going to do db.query. We're going to do the query. And then this time, the callback is going to be error. And then it's also going to take an additional argument, which is going to be the rows. So we're going to say, if there's an error, throw that error. If not, we're going to make the uh, response, the, re the response portion, send the actual rows to us. All right, so let's do app. So now that we have that, last thing is we actually need to tell um, this REST API to listen on the specified port. And we're going to establish a callback function that says, hey, after this is done, we want you to log the REST API is listening on port, <clears throat> port. All right, so this should be good to go. Let's do this, and we're going to actually test this out. Let's do node api.js. All right, perfect, so this is just gonna be the hanging process that's gonna continually listen for those ports, um, for those requests that we have right here. And that's all we need to do for now. So next step, we're gonna actually create the React uh, portion of our app and get some data into our web application using this REST API.